Assalamu alaikum, Elena here, the Muslim Travel Girl, and I am talking today about Umrah and children. The Umrah season has started and the questions have started coming up, and I thought I'm going to do a video on um, children and Umrah because there's so many questions, and obviously, families are going together for Umrah, so it's easier to just have a separate video of um, children with Umrah and just tackle those questions and maybe share some experiences of my own because I have been alhamdulillah a few times now with my daughter the first time we went she was six months and then she was a year and a half two years and then three so we have been a few times with her and I'm just going to share some of my tips so let's go number one question do children need visas tourist visas and umrah visas they need both visas um, obviously if you are on a tourist visa you can issue the tourist visa with um, you as a guardian. It's a very easy process. I do have an article. I will link it up um, on muslimtravelgo.com that talks about the, the whole process of how you issue your, umrah, your tourist visa. Sorry. Um, and it's the same process exactly for children. When I issued my daughter's first uh, tourist visa, she was actually two months old. So no matter how old your kid is, if you has a passport, it needs a visa to enter the country. But they don't need anything else um, in terms of apps for example because we still need the Timarna app to book Umrah and, um, Umrah and Rauda and that's another video I'm going to link below but um, they don't need that you can actually um, just take them with you because they're too young so they don't need to be vaccinated they don't need to have an app they need, they're not as strict with children um, however talking about strictness and guards it really depends when you go and who who is the guard and I know people have messaged me and said I like how you always mention that but it's actually the reality um I have had guards who were super strict and they wouldn't let me in and I had guards who were very nice and they smiled at my daughter and waved at her and just let us through and also there have been times where it was super packed and they saw my daughter and they just let us through so mashallah the blessings of having children with you inshallah for umrah are countless um but yes, I mean, you can, you know, you can get them in. Depending on the time and if it's very busy, they might not let you go down to do tawaf with them. And also if you are doing tawaf with children downstairs in the Kaaba area, knowing the mataf, you cannot take your pram in. You will have to hold them the whole time. But I have seen children, I mean, my own daughter was left to do tawaf with us downstairs several times. And I have seen even babies um be let it depends now the restrictions are not that much and they're not that strict so they let you in more if you are traveling with a baby and you do have a pram and you really don't want to have to carry her for like half an hour an hour and two because obviously then you have to do tough tomorrow with them as well at the same at the same time um you can take your pram on the first and second mataf which are open and you can just let them run around uh, while you're doing your 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 tawafs and you can just push the pram with no problem whatsoever. They also allow wheelchair if you know if you have someone with a wheelchair on. Um, but children and pram, you can you can get them through there. The two best ways to get to the first and second mataf, one is on the side of the clock tower. They have a bridge that you walk. You cannot miss the bridge. Is at the end. Um, and the same with um, with the other side after King Fahad Gate, which is near the new. Uh, mosque extension you will see the ramp there and you can go through there as well with your pram and it literally takes you to the mataf area and then you can do your umrah inshallah so children are definitely allowed and it's very easy it's very comfortable for them in medina at the moment as of making this video august 2022 and please if anything changes just go to my website muslimtravelgo.com because that is where I would have updated with the latest information. So if changes, then I will update it. And obviously, inshallah, I can make an updated video, but the first port of call for the latest information is on muslimtravelgo.com uh, forward slash umrah and you will find all the articles there. But um, for Medina, when you are traveling with children, you cannot enter the courtyard at the moment moms with babies or fathers with babies so moms can go inside um you can pray in the um, in the courtyard area just before the haraming the haram courtyard uh, but you cannot go you cannot go into the courtyard in medina with children at the moment and obviously they cannot go inside the mosque either where well, that's not the case in the haram um at the moment that is the rule 
it will probably change. But when we were there, we did try to go with my daughter. They weren't allowed. And even children who are like 13 and 14, they still look children. They wouldn't, the guards were very strict and they wouldn't let them in. Um, but yeah, and you still need a Rhoda permission to get into Rhoda. So make sure you check my other video on the updated information there uh, for you. But inshallah, that is in Mecca. Kids can go in, no problem whatsoever. In Medina, there's still some restrictions. And of course, I will update the website first uh, before I update anything else. Um, some tips for traveling with children, because I know so many families are traveling, mashallah, with their kids now for Umrah. You can take the kids inside if you want to pray. Um, in the normal prayers, I would say, depending on how old your child is, because I have seen children in, in the mosque, um, from any age really, from literally newborns to obviously older children. My daughter was much easier to handle when she was six months old than when she was a toddler because she wanted to run around. Um, but if I am doing Umrah, I will have her dropped in her pram and I won't let her out because it just makes it so much easier. But if I am doing um, Tawaf, for example, if I wanted to do Tawaf and she's getting a little bit agitated, um, you can do Tawaf on the scooters in the mid mezzanine level. Um, she found that fascinating. We did it a couple of times with her during Ramadan because it was so busy and it was hard to manage with her. Um, and she liked it because obviously it's a scooter and then you can do tawaf this way. Um, it's not the best option, I guess, but it is an option for parents with children because we know how much it can, you know, how hard it can be. And um, I would definitely say if you are going to the haram and if you want to pray, then take with you, and they're obviously places for you to sit in the mosque inshallah and pray and just contemplate but you do have a child what do you do as a mom or as a dad um i would say take toys with you books or her favorite teddy or even to color on something i have those pads that they don't um they they wash but also you don't um you know the specific pages crayola pages that you get and then they can color and just the color comes in once they start coloring so you, you're not going to, you know, mess the carpet or anything else in the haram. But take things with you to actually keep them occupied either in the haram or outside in your hotel room. During the summer when we went for Ramadan, we used to take my daughter for walks around the, the mall. Um, simply because it was so hot um, to do it otherwise. But you can, you know, you can go with walk to walk with them. Because children are young. They don't understand what's happening exactly. So they want to play um, and obviously don't want to bother other worshippers, but by taking some toys, it's so much easier. The same with snacks. I would say, you know, you can take snacks and things. They will check your bag for things that you're probably not allowed, but, you know, milk and water. Of course, we have some, some water and some snacks for your daughter or for your son. They're perfectly normal to get in if you are praying, you know, if you're staying between prayers. So you can definitely get some snacks and fruits. Just make sure that you keep everything in one place. There are supermarkets, so you can get them toys. Um, I did end up buying some amazing toys on sale um, that my daughter still loves and we still play here. And they were fantastic, you know, they're fantastic opportunity. So definitely take toys. I know we go to worship, but, you know, books and things that are new to them to keep them entertained is vital. Um, another thing I really liked, and if you have a newborn, it's very, you know, it's specific for you. Uh, the first time I went, I went with my Duna pram. I'm going to try and put a picture somewhere, but it is easy because it turns into a pram and a car seat. And, um, I don't have to worry about a car seat because obviously if you're taxing taxes, I'm not comfortable with my daughter being strapped to, you know, to me only especially as a younger child. So we did have the Duna and also it was very easy because then the Duna turns into a pram and you can go up um, the stairs. And if you wanted to take the escalators, um, you can just make it into a, um, you know, a car seat and then just take it down. So I would highly recommend as an accessories and I do have an article I'm going to publish it. Just a, a pram like this that converts into multiples. It's fantastic for traveling and we enjoyed it, but especially for Umrah. It was great. And for those who are traveling with children and are looking for a car seat, uh, if you are renting a car, maybe because you can now rent a car in Saudi Arabia. Um, I do have the Kanga car seat. I am going to post a link on this one again 
but we did enjoy it and it's light and it's easy to take with you and travel with it so i would highly recommend that as well inshallah um and that's it really for this video i if you have any more questions or if you want any more tips or specific tips do let me know and i'll be more than happy to do another video about umrah and children i just wanted to kind of give you pointers that are now but if you like this video thumbs up please subscribe and comment uh, because that helps other people see the video inshallah and benefit as well jazakallah hair and assalamu alaikum